Hey guys, and welcome back to Zola's Up 2. So today it is Monday, August 26th, 2024. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring the Watermelon Temple, which is located here in the End Portal area. Without further ado, let's get into it. So to kick off the Watermelon Temple, we're going to need to go down here. And as you can see, it is fully watermelon themed here. But we also have a challenge as like the last free. Welcome to the Watermelon Temple. Find the two melon types in this temple to collect watermelon themed fruit items. As you can see, this entire temple is watermelon themed, which is actually extremely creative. Because as you can see, it is watermelons literally everywhere. And fun fact actually, that is actually where we can find our first melon. We have to find the regular melon slices which we have one right here, one right here, and one right here. Of course, we really only just needed to grab one of them. So now there's only one in my inventory, one stack to be specific. Now, as we continue throughout the temple, you'll notice that literally every single wall is covered by a watermelon themed wall. By the way, as you progress through the temple, I should mention that you should see these melons uh, placed around here as little decoration and small little detail as you go throughout the temple. Also, not only were the walls updated, but the floors were as well. If you haven't managed to notice, I'm going through this kind of slow so I can show you all the details within these temples as they are extremely creative. It's like you're inside a gigantic watermelon. See, there's another melon right there on, in the corner. But yeah, it is extremely creative how this temple goes. Now, the next melon isn't for about a bit. So, as you can see, we got another melon right there as well. And that's really it. So we're gonna jump up here. Now, thankfully our next melon, which is our second and last one, is right here in this very chest. Opening it up, we have a ton of regular melons. However, we need to find the glistering melon slice, which thankfully is right up here. Picking that up and putting it in our inventory, we now officially have both melon types. However, the rest of this temple still does look really cool. And I'm personally not gonna lie, this honestly looks really nice. And now, as you can see over there, heading into this room, now as you can see, we have both items respectively, or at least both sets of items. Right here, we have the watermelon hat, the watermelon shirt, the watermelon pants, and lastly, the watermelon shoes. However, we also have the watermelon banner. Putting on all four of these items, including the said banner that we have collected, let it make it clear that we are now officially dressed up like a watermelon, or at least to an extent, which by the way, we look like this now, which actually looks really freaking cool. Also, not gonna lie though, the melon banner also looks really freaking cool. So yeah, there you have it. There's the entirety of the temple. It's really, really cool to see how that looks. Of course, we still gotta find a way out of here, obviously. So I do know where that is, but first we have another melon right there. And the entrance to get out of here is right through this iron door. Doing that, we are out of the temple and now we are back where we started. This temple was very fun to make. It was the second one I actually made because it was the second temple that I had an idea for. I know it's similar to the first one, which it is. The difference is that it's kind of slightly harder to find the chests. Slightly. So next time, guys, on Wednesday, August 28th, we're going to be tackling the Sweetberry Temple, which is right here. So look out for that in two days, as it is currently the 26th. With that said, I'll see you next time.